keep in mind, Neil, it requires much more strength to move something than it does to keep it in place. I am yes. aware. I'm not going to cheat you guys out of something. <laughs> and if that's Jeff, why I said... If Jeff had let go entirely, that would have been one thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. I just, like, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Neil, I put you... my hand on it. Yeah. You let go of the chair with one hand. Abigail tries to hold it up. Uh, and as you touch it, you hear a voice in your head screaming, Who the fuck do you think you are waking me up? I am Prince Vincent Longborn, and I come with you. I come to you with the noblest of charges. Dragons are free in the land. Far be it for me to uh, hold you back from your noble cause, which is to slay all of them. And what makes you think you're worthy enough to wield me? I know not if I'm worthy of wielding you, friend, but I would love the honor of proving to you that mayhaps I am. What do you think you could do to prove it to me, huh? Slay some motherfucking dragons. The spear is unconvinced. It says back to you, I don't think you've got what it takes. I can feel your mind, and I feel your mind full of doubts. Oh, I have no doubts, friend. We know that our best bet against these dragons is with you, but if you should not come with us, we will pursue your brothers and do this mission without you, and you will remain a coward in the back of a chair doing nothing about the dragons. What would you call a warrior capable of killing dragons but proving itself incapable of going out and joining its brothers in battle? Oh, I just think you're a liar and a weakling. If I, I am lying, still, and if I am weak, I promise you on my life that I'll return you to this throne. I think you're a liar. How do I know you can keep your promise? <clears throat> well, I take, you, I, I take one I of the dragon... Say... I take a dragon tooth out of, my hand, out of my bag and hand it to Vincent in the hand that's not holding up the chair. You know nothing of this conversation. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah. Oh, I can't... Oh, that's right. I can't hear it. Okay, never mind. I don't do that. Say, look, friend, <laughs> I don't have any proof... I don't have a dragon in here that I've recently slain. I don't have its blood on my hands. I have done these things. If you can read my mind and my thoughts, I invite you to do so. If you cannot, then you must trust me. And if you do not trust me, and you want to stay back here, then that is your prerogative. I can't force you out of this chair. But we will free this land of dragons, and we will conquer them with or without you. You feel uh, an attempt of another mind to try and read yours. I allow it. Is there anything that you intentionally hold back. I mean, nope. you start to, it starts to probe around in your memories. Are there any doors or memories that you specifically wish to keep closed? If so, PM me so I know. Um, we ate ferret jerky. <laughs> <laughs> that night I got really drunk with Abigail that she doesn't remember. <laughs> oh, shit. That's Please don't know that. Up. Then I touched the spear. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. It pokes around and pokes around and pokes around um, and eventually says, I smell something that's missing. I see you have slain many dragons, but there's something, something close to home. Well, friends, if you want to have a long, lovely discussion about my home life, we can do that, but I'd prefer we do it after we're safe from this throne room. You've seen that we have killed and slain dragons, and that is what you are made to do, and that's what we're here to use you for. So what more could you ask for? Um, you feel it start to slip out of the chair. I slide it out of the chair, Neil. I slide right. that shaft right out of the chair. It comes out nice and easy after you loosened it up. <laughs> <laughs> Neil's having none of these innuendos. He's joining okay. in. Mm -hmm. All right. I pull it out, and then uh, I put it on my back and just... And, and say, thank you, friend. I, I think you've chosen the right path, and I, I shall prove it to you. And then I, I help the, the party you ease the put it on your back, back with one hand? Uh, yes. Right. I'm just wondering, like, no, I guess you could slide, you have your backpack on, I guess you could slide it. And if I can't kneel, then I guess what, the, what I would do is set it down as I help them set the chair back and then put it on my uh, back. Okay. Uh, everyone, give me a strength check. Everyone that's holding the chair. Ah, uh, let me check my strength real quick. Eight. Jesus, Braveheart. 
29. Oh, 21. Okay, you guys all do fairly well. You manage to quietly set the chair back down. At this point, you hear voices again. And say, footsteps. This time they're at the opposite end of the throne room. As Are they the same, the same voices? No, you can't tell. I mean, all humans sound alike to you. Right. Azrael, get us out of here. I snap Don't... my fingers and portal into the end. Um... Into our room. Into our room, yeah, that we came from. The casting time is a full minute for the spell. Is it? Yeah. Casting time is a full minute, and it does require somatic material and verbal components, so... I don't do that then. <laughs> okay. I gotta say, quiet, nobody move again. And, they're and they're coming duck. from here, Neil? You said the right side of the room? From what we can yeah. tell? So, uh, yeah. I, th I thought I said the front side of the room. I'm sorry. You said yeah. opposite I mean, end, is said... what you told us. Yeah, the opposite end, like the opposite end of where the action's happening. Okay, okay so <laughs> we're gonna go here. Yeah, yeah we're, we're hiding behind the throne room. Okay. So you guys are um, hiding behind the throne, sorry. You guys yeah. hide behind the throne, and the voices seem to stop right in front of the door. And at this distance, it's kind of difficult to make out what they're saying, because they're talking softly. Um, but you can hear it kind of echoing throughout. All right, Abigail girl's kind of a solid five. Isn't she? Yeah, she's a pretty solid five. <laughs> Yeah. That Vincent sure is fucking awesome. Probably. He treat us all the drinks. I think I'm gonna <laughs> give that guy my magical sword. Yeah, I'm gonna give my magical sword too. <laughs> no, we just stay quiet. Yeah, we just we're definitely still in the because we know we're at, we're almost home, but not quite there yet. Okay. Okay. Um, a few minutes later, the voices uh, hear footsteps and the voices walk away. Okay, so I'm going to whisper to everyone, what about the clue to the next item? Now's not the fucking time. Okay. I mean, unless you have an idea or something, but... Well, as Azriel is going to be casting the thing, I'm going to, like, once again, I'll be poking in the freaking hole that's left over from, like, the spear being drawn out to, like, make sure there's, there's no, like... There's no hole left. Like, the spear was oh, actually inside nothing? of the chair leg. So when you lifted it up, the spear kind of poked out, but it wasn't uh, like, it was built okay. inside the chair. You couldn't detect it from the outside. Okay, so there's like nothing fell off or like mm -hmm. not a little piece of paper saying where the next clue is. No. As, so Abigail says that, I, and I, I kind of turn to Vincent. I'm like, I, Vincent, ask the spear if he knows where the next weapon is while, while I work good on Good call, this. friend. And I asked the spear, so spear, first of all, I need to know your name. I'm Prince Vincent Longborn. What is your name? I'll tell you my name when I think you're ready for it. You are... Okay, thank you. Um, I will call you henceforth... Battle... Um, what is it? Land Before Time. What was that one? Littlefoot. I'm going to call you Littlefoot. Um, do you know of details for where your other brothers are? We, we've been told that every weapon has the details to the next one. We've been separated for generations. I, don't, I know not where they are. Although I can sense one is near. Do you have one? Yes. I already told him that. We have Crawfoot. <laughs> mm. Crawfoot. Crawfoot. Isn't it the same Crawfoot? Yeah, it is. It's just, it just makes me laugh. Oh, yeah, that's right. It is. It's like the only name I can remember. And yeah. It's one of the worst <laughs> names that Neil's ever done. <laughs> Crawfoot. It's crawl for it. That's how I'm typing it out. Yeah. All right. Well, if you have uh, no nothing to help us with on this, I guess we'll have to do it after. So I say to Bregor, uh, no, it knows of no details. Hmm. There's no writings on the chair, Neil. When I inspected it, I didn't. It's know it really dark in here. You can't read anything that's written. Neil, there, there was no. Like parchment or anything that fell out when when the spear loosened from I the chair. I already right? said that. Oh, I didn't. Per perhaps I didn't hear that. Vincent, <laughs> one of your torches may help us. Uh, out of game, Neil. Would would that help? Like, wouldn't their would night vision help? see it? Or their well, their night visions depend on some amount of light in there. So it's like cat mm -hmm. or dog's vision. Like it's really good in in the dark. But if there is no light whatsoever, you can't. It's not very useful. All right. So in the room with this little light, they can see some, but it's still there are a lot of okay. details like left out. What if that, we... I, I hand Bregor my torch, but I say 
keep your back to the door and use it sparingly. Okay. How about we do it just when the portal, like a few seconds before the portal's ready? Uh, well, the portal's going to be ready in five seconds. But okay, still... let's go. Let's okay, go. So quickly, I just light it and cover oh. it so it creates this little God, light God. cast outwardly and just focus it onto the, uh, the chair, basically. I mean, it's not like you can, it's a flame on a stick. I know. Yeah, but if you put your back to the door and you, you hold the, the flame in front of you, it will disperse. The light's not going to go through the human body into the door. <laughs> well, right, right. So, my, here's, so you're standing in front of the chair when you're doing this. I, uh, I need to know your positioning and whatnot for all this stuff. Aren't we there? If you we... I say, Abigail, uh... Take some clothing or, or whatever, some fabric, and put it beneath the door. Close up that gap. Do I have extra fabric, Neil? No. Beneath the door. <laughs> so the light yes, doesn't shine through the, the door. the light's coming in. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Is there... No. Mm. I mean, is there stuff I can rip off from my cloak to, like, freaking block you the door? You could take your cloak off. You could, you know, use a knife and cut your cloak to pieces. You could... I guess you're wearing armor, so you couldn't really take off your shirt or pants. Yeah. Those are kind of stuck under the armor. Um, you know? I, mean, I, hand, what if... I hand her my plus one cloak, and so you just put it, put it under you. Okay. I put it... my cloak on one end and his cloak on the other, like the nearest sides, like here and there. Well, it's not like a 400-foot-long door, just... One. But there's like three doors. <clears throat> Is there? Yeah. Oh, there's multiple. Well, I guess I didn't look at it that way. I only looked at there's only the one well, on the other side. So there's there's the two, and I'll get behind the throne where the yeah. spear was, and that way the throne itself will block it, the light from the third door in the front. I'm sorry, can you repeat that again? You're going to do I, what? Okay, so they put the cloaks under the side doors, right? And then the third door is in the front, so I will light the torch behind the throne, mm -hmm. where the spear was, so that way the throne itself blocks the light from the front door. Okay. I'm gonna stay near uh, Vincent's cloak, like, as he does that. So I'm gonna drop my cloak first, and then I'm gonna drop his cloak, but I'll stay next to it, so that, let's say, something happened, I'd grab it and run away with it in the portal. Okay, so which on which door are you dropping your cloak, and which door are you dropping his cloak? I'm going to drop my cloak here, and I'm going to drop his cloak there, and I'll, like, stay here in the little corner. Okay. 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 So, um, this is done. Vincent and Azriel are both behind the throne with Bregor when he lights this stuff. Yeah, sure. Uh... Yeah, I'm like on the side. It doesn't matter. I'm on, on the side or something. I'm not standing behind it. Okay. Um, you light the torch? Yes. It flares up, and you look at the back of the the, um, the throne, and there's some car engravings and carvings and whatnot, but none of it is are words. It's kind of like just pictures and stuff. Okay. Well, can I start, begin memorizing what the pictures are? They're pictures of ships uh, sailing around on the water. That's it? Just ships on the water? Nothing I mean, about some them. of them it's, are at war. It's a nautical theme cashmere, yes. No. <laughs> okay. I, I, go, uh, I go around the, the throne and look and see if there's anything that stands out to me other than just ships. There's a lot of depictions of battle. Um, most of it is nautical warfare. Uh, some fish related stuff a lot of things regarding wealth um, and uh, on the lower back of the chair there's a, pic a depiction of a couple copulating nice you mean having sex copulating Coitus. Grey Gore Coitus. Becomes, becomes aroused by the throne <laughs> Abigail notices <laughs> <laughs> maybe this is All why right. she collects gold <clears throat> So that's it. There's just a bunch of ships, and randomly a couple is having sex. 
<laughs> well, there's some the warfare chair. too, and there's a bunch of you know depictions of wealth and whatnot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So I, I call Abby and Vincent over to take a look and see if they notice anything. Cause I, oh, I'm already I, looking around, too. Yeah. yeah. With the light off the, the torch, I, I was just not on the same side he is. I'm on the other side. Do I see anything on the front of it, Neil, or anything? Yeah, I will circle the, the whole thing. I'm sorry. The front of it was where the pic depictions of the couple copulating were. That was on the front lower side, like where someone's lower back would be. Burger's like, sorry. come check this out, man. <laughs> All right. Well, Neil... <laughs> What we're getting at is we circle the thing, looking yeah, at. Yeah, I, I understand. Right. You guys see no nothing else that uh, stands out as important or related to your inquiry. I pointed. Is there, oh, is there a seat cushion? There is a seat cushion. I check under it. Uh, this is just solid gold, no depictions. Okay. I I motion to Gregor if he looks at me at some point to like look underneath like I did earlier. Okay, I I go underneath and. Count the boogers on the bottom of the throne. You find a really hard time actually getting underneath the throne with the fire. Because it's only about yay wide, so to put the flame under there and your head under there, you put your head like right next to the torch and burn well, your face off. As I see him trying to get down under there, I just offer to hold the torch while he crawls under. Like it doesn't need the torch under there, it just needs it near yeah. it to get the light under. Okay. Bregger, you crawl underneath while Vincent holds the torch. Uh, under the throne is boring. There's no engravings or carvings. It's just flat mm. land of gold. Alright. Nothing in there. <sighs> okay, I kind of look around uh, as I have the torch now. I kind of look up at the ceiling, hold it up there. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing on the dais where the throne is on. No. The floor? The floor is huge. No, but like the floor near the throne, like the... The dais. Yeah, like, oh, said. that's what he said, yeah. yeah. I forgot the no, words. Nothing there. Anything on the back wall behind the throne? There's some very large, soft fabrics that are hanging. That have, like, you know, depictions of the flags and whatnot. Hmm. I check behind him. You know, softly. Stone. Just stone behind okay. them. All right. I say, Azra, I think we can get out of here. We'll just figure it out on the outside. Yeah. You know, how some... loud do I have to say the words for this incantation? Um, you could whisper them or speak them at like a, a normal volume level. You don't have to shout them, but they do need to be enunciated well, and you have trouble enunciating when you whisper. Okay, I I turn towards the wall the at the back and say that say it that way and open the portal. I'm gonna grab the two fabrics as I yeah. see it doing that. And I thank her and take it from her and put it back on. And I put out the torch, by the way. Mm. One sec. As, as I... Shit. Am I already casting it, Neil? You're starting to cast it. Can I change the... where I want it to pop up without having the spell fuck up? Yeah, I mean, you can turn while you're casting the spell. It, it appears within five feet of you. I'm saying where I want it to appear on the other side. Once the spell's cast. Can I do that? Without penalty? Yeah. yeah, go for it. Now I gotta think about where I wanna go. Uh, we portal back to. The plan was our rooms. Yeah. If we didn't get caught. <sighs> okay, so... we, go, we go to our rooms. We'll probably age some, but we go to our rooms. Or, okay. or go to my room where we portaled in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, you're fine. Um, do, you, uh, do you appear back in your room? Alright, as soon as we all get through it, I shut the portal behind us. Okay. Uh, actually, you can't auto shut this. It oh, it just goes away out. for a minute? Yeah, it's there for... This is a thing that you can't automatically shut off, though. So when we walk through, I, I go and kind of, like, take the, the wicks of the candles and put it out so no light shines through on the other end. Or whatever is lighting my room, I basically blow it okay. off. Right, right, right. And as I leave, I make sure to look at the floor, like, that there's no, like, 
ashes or leftover things we forgot, like the torch or the cloaks are taken care of. There is nothing as we left. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we just wait in the room for the portal to close, and we all portal closes. I guess we all and, take a sign of Vincent, relief. And you hear uh, a voice in your head say, "When do we fight a fucking dragon, man?" His says this, right? The spear says that. Oh, to me. Your says that, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> patience, my friend. We we encountered four on the way in here. Or th yes, four. Uh, a mother and its little children. So uh, you type should not have to wait long. Wait, I know it's exactly the type of dragons. Never mind. Because, yeah, I know. I want to fucking kill some more. I do too, friend. We'll do it as soon as we can, I promise. It goes silent. I kind of turn to the group and I say, what's the plan now? Stack normal, leave town tomorrow? Yeah, I do. Uh, I mean... We don't have any clue of where to go. That's what I want to... We need to know where this next weapon is, so I... <clears throat> I don't know. Do you guys have any ideas? We, we need to find a town known for its... Navy and its fornication. <laughs> mm. I say I believe, that, I believe that I believe that chair was speaking of the Stormtide Kingdom, yeah. and not to where something else could be found. Unless I do know of islands to the west, but I don't. Did you? Were they, were they elves on the chair, or were they humans? Probably humans. Neil, I, I paid gone. special. I paid special atten attention to the. The, the sex. Did they have pointy ears? They did not have pointy ears. Okay, they were probably... But it's kind of hard to tell. You know, it's just engravings in gold. Yeah. I, I not just, a lot of detail. I assume that is just kind of saying that the people of Stormtide have a lot of boats yeah. and have a lot of sex. Because <laughs> I don't know what else it means. <laughs> hmm. I mean... It might be a little bit crazy, but we could try to get more information from the king. On what grounds? What? Do you, how do we go to him with that Saying information? Saying that we got the hammer and we heard that the information to the next piece is in his throne room. No, I, I, I hear what you're saying. I, I don't know that we should tip him off anything like that. I, I feel like maybe we send word to Jamal. Maybe we read around. Uh, I mean, our tips haven't necessarily been... They've been people each time. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, in that regard, maybe... I, I mean, I already asked the king, though. I asked him about weapons. Yeah. Right? He didn't know. Yeah, that's true. But but keep in mind, the tips have been people each time. It was Jamal and, and uh, yeah. Jamal's brother before that. I, I uh, bring up... You said you knew a wizard uh, in a town that we went through. I believe it was Windsail. Would he know something of that? We should stay away from Riker. He collects magical weapons, and he is not our biggest fans. So, it seems like he would be one of the least, one of the people we'd least like to encounter. Surely, someone who collects magical items would know somewhat about these. Yes, and surely, someone who collects magical items and hates us would want to collect magical items from the people that he hates. <laughs> well, you guys, you guys have lasted this long. I'm sure he's not that big of a deal. Where, where else do we go is, is all I'm getting at. Well, you and I have come to a fantastic conclusion that there's one place we shouldn't go, so... <laughs> we narrowed it down by one. I mean, how many cities are known for their, like, forts and ships and, and sexual activities? <laughs> I mean, Stormtime Kingdom and to the west of here, which is the Elven Lands, but I haven't... I've what never that, been that way. What, what's that big city called again? The really big one. Right. The one we're in right now. Tide's End, uh -oh. the one that we're in right now. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, that's probably it. Mm. Well, you know, here's a... We were actually down south looking for... Uh, what was the name of that sword? I kind of asked the group. Dragon's Bane. Dragon's Bane. We heard that it was somewhere near there. These weapons can sense when other weapons are nearby, when their brothers are nearby. Why don't we just take these down there and see if they sense anything near a trilla, near the Black Mist Lake, near the That's crypt, actually a good idea. I That's think it's the idea. first time I agree with you, Ezreal. 
I do think we should spend the next day, though, poking around and seeing what we can come up with here before we go there. That's true. We, we should give it a few days. I mean, we're not in trouble right now. We didn't forget anything because I checked. <laughs> sure. All right, yeah. Well, we'll, uh, we'll reconvene tomorrow morning. Don't speak of this openly in town, obviously. I shouldn't have to say that, but just, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll make our way south after we spend a day in town. Sounds good to me. Now get out. I'm tired. <laughs> Kick everyone out of my room. Okay. You guys all get kicked out and go to sleep? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. I believe um, it's been an hour if you want to break here. Unless you want to drop some This would be a, a fine time. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's first hour. We're going three hours tonight, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yes. All right, so we'll be back with hour number two right after this. Thanks for watching, everyone, on this short notice. We'll see you guys when we come back for hour number two. Peace. See you soon.